Welcome everyone to another video on the Foxtech YouTube channel. This time we talk about a way to visit iCloud Photos library on your iPhone. Now this is a little bit interesting and I absolutely understand what you mean by that. You want to open up the Photos app and see which photos are on iCloud and which photos are on your own device. You want to have it separate. Like you want to know that yeah this video of the dog or this logo is on iCloud and this one is on my device. Unfortunately the wave or the photos app is not the proper way apple wants to make everything as seamless as possible so so they don't actually allow you to separate them or see it differently to be 100 percent sure which photos are on icloud and to visit only the icloud library i would recommend you to fire up the safari and basically just look up icloud.com so you're gonna wait for it to load up and i want you to sign in if you're not already so i am like this so i'm just going to click ok and i can it can get me over to the mail which i don't want to be necessarily in so quick access and stuff and you get to your icloud you can scroll through it and stuff and you can click on the photos section and uh, the photos which you can see right here are all of the photos which are on your icloud library so you can see for me it is basically all of them and the reason for it is because i have the automatic the synchronization enabled which i don't necessarily like but i will touch on that in just a second about the main point to take away from this is that if you go through safari to icloud.com and check out the photo section there you can be 100 percent sure that the photos and videos you see there are on icloud they may also appear on your phone but they are on icloud so you can log in from a different device and do different stuff with it However, if you want to stop the automatic synchronization, which I don't necessarily like, because it's going to take up the storage really quickly, you can just click on your name in, at the top in your settings like this and click on iCloud. So you can see apps using iCloud Photos sync this iPhone. So I'm going to disable it already. 2.18 gigabytes are being taken up by my photos, which I didn't even like intend to put there. So if you don't like it, just turn it off like that. You also have the option to turn off shared albums, but this is like a little bit different thing. But basically to visit photo uh, iCloud photo library, just use Safari. It's a better way to do it because you cannot really see it separately inside of the photos app. So if you want to know more about iPhones, and I believe you should know more about them, definitely check out the link down below in the description which will get you to the free Foxtech educational platform where you can watch courses on video editing. For example, I just finished the Dynamic Island full course, full guide. You can watch it for free. And there are things like in-depth um, third-party apps and all the features, tricks and wallpapers you can use with the Dynamic Island stuff every iPhone 14 and 15 users should know about. So definitely go ahead and check it out. I will wait for you inside and that's about it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the future tutorial.